Shalom and good day all. This is Tehillim29 back again. And this time I am reviewing the 80th anniversary edition of Robin. This is one of my favorite covers right here. Uh, as you can see, I picked up the standard, the 1940s. The Stephanie Brown one. And the one that has Tim Drake in it. And the one that has, of course, all of the Robins. Including the Elseworlds, Kerry Kelly. Which I believe you will see there. I must admit, these stories were pretty good. Um... All save maybe the Robbie Thompson one. So reading the story, starting off with the Marv Wolfman one. Uh, of course, covering Dick Grayson. Eight out of ten for the Marv Wolfman. Then we've got the Chuck Dixon, eight point five out of ten. The Devin Grayson one, eight out of ten. The Tim Seeley Tom King one, seven out of ten. Jason Todd one. Absolutely loved it. 8.5 out of 10. Tim Drake. The first one. Seven point five out of ten. The Tinian. Eight out of 10. Stephanie Brown, very cutesy of how they sort of worked with the character in that. 7.5 out of 10. The Super Sons in My Best Friend by Peter J. Tomasi. 10 out of the 10, the best story in it. <laughs> the best story in it. Um, and the Robbie Thompson one, I'm a little bit unsure with his writing, I've not read a lot of his writing in the past, um, I think Tamara's artwork could have been a little bit better in it, but apart from that, they did a really good job in sort of like trying to bring over of what's being said in the story. Robbie Thompson's story writing, I feel like he's trying to grasp the voice of both Batman and Damian Wayne in this, but he hasn't quite fully got it yet. Would I, uh, would I call it a horrible story? Mm, no, not really. But I think one thing that Robbie Thompson could have actually brought in is sort of um, something linking to Justice League No Justice. And if he happens to bring in something like in connection to that, I think it would really help the story out a little bit better. Especially if he's planning on doing a story that's between Bruce Wayne and Damian Wayne. Because Batman also needs to sort of see the error of his way of not being there to support his son Damian after literally seeing the loss of a planet. Like, not being the supportive father that he should have been. I think if that 
was sort of brought into the story, it would give the story a little bit more depth. But let's get to the rating of the story. I'm just going to say a 7 out of 10. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, big thanks to all my subscribers. I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to do this without you. Until then, let's keep it colourful. And thank you, DC Comics, for the character of Robin.